I'm doing an update for the carburetor work I've done on my 2023 XR150 and I'm up to 551 kilometers they've been really good kilometers really enjoyable and I said in my last video I had put in the 38 pilot jet and the 110 main jet and my first impression was that it was much better now I haven't started this bike in four days so we'll turn the key on and that's what I like about the new jet um, cold start like nobody's business now I'm gonna take it out and do a high-speed test and see how if we've increased our top speed so as you can see I got a little bit more top speed with the jet change it went from 98 kilometers an hour up to 102 103 and on a downhill I was getting up to 108 but uh, anything over 80 there's so little torque that a headwind or a slight upgrade just knocks the speed right down so the good parts about the jet was that I got a much better cold start and a little bit more top speed but the downside first of all is that it is using more fuel I was able to get 280 kilometers without even using the, the uh, reserve before I refilled and this time I actually had to turn it over to reserve at about 240 kilometers and part of that was messing around with the carburetor. I dumped the float bowl twice. Um, so that fuel wasn't included in the mileage. But I am getting a little bit less mileage with the new jets. And also, um, let's do, now that the bike is warmed up. It's not starting quite as well with those new jets. Before with the old jets, it, once it was warmed up, it was just like this thing is now when it's cold. It started right up. So there are some downsides to that jetting. Um, I think it's ideal it, right about the mid-range. I think at the low end, it is maybe a bit on the rich side. And on the high end, it's still lean. So I think there's going to be further steps. So that's the normal carburetor that comes with the bike. And this here is a PZ27. And this is supposed to bolt on. But before that can happen, first of all I need to see if it'll run without the carburetor heater plugged in. And if that works, I'll have to unplug the vacuum lines on the other side and plug those off and see if it'll run with those vacuum lines plugged. Well, I'm in luck. It ran without the heater being plugged in and I pulled out the vacuum lines from the other side, plugged them off, and it ran fine. So now I disconnect it from the air breather and loosen these two nuts over here. Pull the top off and that slider comes up out of there. That'll have to be changed. But one thing you check before switching carburetors is where the cable stops up here. The rubber tip there can be different lengths and that can change your throttle cable length. And what you don't want is too long or too short of a throttle cable where you're gonna have to replace it. Um, so I'm gonna get those things pulled out and we'll see if the PZ27 is in fact a bolt-on. So that's the difference there. In my left hand is the original Honda carburetor and this is the PZ27. A very similar carburetor Let's uh, 
slap her in there and see what happens. Well, that's disappointing. Mission aborted. The cap here is pretty typical. The cable just sits down inside of it and seats up against that stopper down there. On the Honda, I, it just seems like they've gone out of their way to make this so that you can't work on it yourself or modify it yourself. This piece is actually crimped so that the end of the cable goes down into the net there and is crimped in place and can't be pulled out. Oh, I never put that rubber boot on. So there, there's no way of... I suppose I could cut into it, but, it, you know, not going to do that. So, unfortunately, everything else fit. It, it fit in very well. But I can't pull the cable out of there. You would, you'd you'd almost have to get a, a throttle cable to go with it, which is something I may have to consider. All I've got it taken apart, though, I might as well... Put on the seat cover. Maybe that'll cheer me up. Well, a bit of a disappointment, but I got it back together. This is the Mad Dog seat cover. Doesn't look too bad on there. You know, the the XR seat is quite comfy. But after four hours on the trail, I start to feel it. And I do like to be out there all day. So... I'll keep you posted, let you know how the seat cover worked out. Carburetor was a massive disappointment. It looks like I'm stuck with that thing until I replace the throttle cable as well.